another haul tutorial because um, there's been a lot of requests. So this is for Baby Doll, obviously, because you read the title, so yeah. Okay, so um, here is how, like, I guess the intro you could call it goes. <laughs> that starts um, on the 3rd fret, low E, and then the 5th on the D. And this is an octave, so you don't want um, any other string ringing out except those two. So um, you have to mute the A and then all the other ones, all these obviously, <laughs> um, with this finger. So you just get those, and you strum that eight times. And then move up the same shape to the sixth low E and the eight on the D. And that's also um, eight times, but it's kind of done like in this pattern, I guess. So it's like one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. If that makes any sense. It's probably not the correct way of counting it, but oh well. And then you move down to, um, and this is not an octave, just the low E, first fret. No other strings ringing out. It's also strummed eight times. And then move back to the octave shape um, to the fourth fret on the low E and the D on the sixth. And do that same like before. Um, eight times. Um, and this is how um, the first part of the verse goes. with a another octave on the A string um, fifth fret and the G um, seventh and you first strum that seven times and then add the um, B string on the sixth fret so it becomes kind of like a D minor and then strum it again um, just six times this time, and then add the um, B string again, and then strum it six times, and then strum it um, again last time six times. Then you want to slide down to the first fret, still an octave, um, on the A string, and the third fret on the G. And you do the exact um, same thing, so seven times the first time, and then you add the B string on the second fret, and then you do it six times, and then add the B, and then six times again, and then add the B, and then just six times again, and then you slide back up to do it a second time, and it's the exact same way. Same thing, and then go down here. And after that, um, it continues, um, and it goes like this. So that is the um, octave, like we did in the beginning, so um, G octave, I guess, um, third fret low E, and then D on the fifth, and you strum it eight times, and then you slide up to the sixth fret, and the eighth fret octave, and then you strum that seven times, um, and you repeat that four times. Then we go back to, um, the first kind of riff. Except you only do it once, so you go. And you end it by going down to the third fret, low E, and bending it. 
And then we're into, I guess, like a bridge. I don't know, that's what I'm gonna call it. And it goes like this. So, um, that's played twice, but I just played it once just so I can show you how it goes. Um, so that starts by bending the G on the fourth fret twice and then it's kind of a weird hard like transition you could also just strum the low E string if you wanted to but um I feel like E5 sounds better so go to E5 which is low E open and the um A and the D on the second fret and you strum that three times so you go um, and you repeat that all four times, and then you go to G5, which is low E, um, this is just the normal power chord, not an octave, so low E on the third fret, and then five on the A and D, and you show them that once, and then you, this is palm muted, um, hit the open low E twice, so you go. So that is done three times, and the last time you go G, muted, and G, so. And then with no palm muting, you just strum the G5 three times. So. And um, all of that is repeated twice, like I said. So you go back to here again, and do that, and then do that again. Then it's back to the verse, which is the same with these octaves. That thing, and you do that twice, um, just the same. And then back to... And back to that thing, which is also the same, so um, done four times. And then back to... Exactly the same as the first time. Then back to the bridge, which is also exactly the same. Then back into another verse, which is also the same. You get the idea. And then this. It, it's the same thing. And then again. That thing. And then the bridge again, which is exactly the same again. Um, if if you're confused about any parts somehow, just ask a question, but it, it's the same. All right, and after you finish that, so you did the, that whole thing two times. All right, and after that, it's an outro, which I'm just going to break this up into parts so it's easier. Um, here's how the first part goes. <laughs> start on just the low E, um, 6 fret. Then you're gonna add, um, this is an octave again, the D string on the 8th fret. Um, so. And then you strum that twice. And then you go back to just the 6th fret. And then you strum that twice again. You're back to the 6th fret. And then you strum that three times, and you move up to the um, seventh and ninth fret, and strum that twice. So there you go, and then you strum that three times again, um, and that is done two times in a row. And then after that, it goes like this. Again, um, 6th fret and 8th fret octave. And you show them that 6 times. 
and then six times again. And then um, it's still strummed six times, but it's kind of broken up. So then you go, um, so you go. So. so then you do that. Move back up to the seventh fret, strum that once, and then strum it um, three times again. And then you want to slide down from, so you have to slide up to um, the 13th fret though E, but you have to slide down from it, so you'd go like that. Alright, and the next part goes like this. to the um, sixth fret and eighth fret and you strum that three times so and then you strum this um, same octave um, six times and then strum it once again and then strum it once again and then move up to the seventh fret and the ninth fret and you strum that six times again After you let that ring out, so you slide um, from the seventh fret to the seventeenth fret. Um, okay, that is the whole song. Hope it wasn't too confusing, like always. Um, I feel like I don't explain things very well, but I hope this is somewhat helpful because there isn't any tutorials, um, not that I know of. And also, um, I've gotten a lot of suggestions, I mean, some from months ago that I haven't done. Um, so if you suggested something and I haven't done it yet, um, I'm not gonna lie, I have forgotten some and then been like, oh yeah, I need to do that. So it, they will come at some point, but um, they take a while to make um, and for me to figure out how to explain it in the least confusing way. So just know that uh, they will come at some point, and if for some reason they don't, then you can bother me about it. Um, but yeah, um, if you have any more suggestions, you can give them to me, and I'll try my hardest to get it done. Um, that is all, I think. <laughs>